Hello and welcome to Autofocus. One of the aspects about the electric scooter segment is that it's been growing rapidly and this is a segment that was barely existent just three to four years ago and then it has just shot up in terms of numbers, in terms of complexity and now we are seeing electric scooters that are entering into sub-segments. So Yeta has built a loyal community around its brand. It's a brand that is now gotten deep into the minds of its buyers and understood what the use case scenario is. While there is a lot of that sort of aspirational quality attached to the brand, it still is fundamentally an electric scooter brand that delivers the everyday usability of an electric scooter and that's what they want to deliver better. They want to, of course, take on new competition that's coming around in the electric scooter segment and that's how the Aether 450S was born. So the 450S is exactly the same as the 450X in terms of design, in terms of its chassis, underpinning, suspension, uh, braking performance also, it is almost identical to the 450X. So you do look at scooter on the road from Aether and you will not be able to quite identify whether it's the 450X or the 450S. Yes, it does get a different set of color schemes. Uh, the 450X has a, a few more special bits that can help it stand out. But overall, the 450S is very similar. It's got only one lithium ion battery pack configuration. So you will be getting the three kilowatt, which basically is the 2.9 kilowatt usable capacity. That sits under the floor. It is going to be offered in this trim that you are seeing right now. And it is scooter that's being squarely targeted at commuters, people who are uh, not going to be riding it for more than about 35, 40 kilometers a day. And uh, those are the kind of people that will potentially need to charge the scooter once every two days. So Ether has uh, used its digital ecosystem for the uh, 450X and the, now the new 450S to sort of offer customers a few features that are uniquely capable uh, with a digital ecosystem. The, some of the features we will talk about uh, are new to the 450S. The 450S, of course, it's a new scooter altogether in terms of that whole positioning. But some of the features uh, that have been brought in are focused on offering buyers in the slightly lower price segment and the more use case scenario where they are very clear that they're only going to be using it for short commutes. That segment is being offered these features, especially so that the experience can then be enhanced, the experience can be safer, and the experience, of course, can also be sort of leveraging this digital ecosystem that I spoke about. So one of the things they've done, of course, is to replace the touchscreen uh, digital instrument on the handlebar and have replaced it with a high resolution digital screen, which can then be operated using a joystick. Aether officials tell me that the uh, joystick has been sort of programmed to offer very intuitive riding uh, choices, and you can do it while on the go, and you can switch between modes, you can choose some of the uh, display features. Similarly, reverse mode, which earlier needed uh, engaging both the front and rear brakes, and then choosing a button is now a simple one button press away and you can just twist the throttle to go into a parking slot if you are finding that in a tight spot. The other thing that you are going to be getting, of course, is a lot of digital features which have then been combined with some sensors to make sure uh, that the use case scenario can be met. One of them, for example, is gyro sensor that has been connected with the uh, overall uh, ECU to uh, detect the potential fall of the scooter. So if you do have a small mishap, you've dropped the scooter down and very, very often uh, people intuitively twist the throttle in an attempt to bring the scooter back upright. And that often leads to further worsening the situation and a runaway condition where the scooter could be ridden off by your mistakenly twisting the throttle. Now that is avoided because the gyro sensor then sends a feedback that cuts off the uh, power supply and so the motor is disengaged uh, and until about 15 minutes or so. And then you can come manually back on by effectively telling the computer that you are under control by pressing a engage back button. 
it also can be connected to your cell phone which can then send out warning or a distress call to uh, an emergency services so all of those uh, have been brought in now this is a feature that is typically a digital ecosystem feature and it's certainly going to help buyers in this segment the new Aether 450S and one of the other variants of the 450X will not get the touchscreen instrument that, it, that the previous version had. 450S also gets a whole new set of switch gear. Screen is 1000 to 1 contrast ratio. It's a high resolution screen is what Aether's officials tell me. It's also a screen that gets auto brightness feature which is supposed to be an industry first. And the lettering is uh, digital lettering is in sharp 18 segment contrast does enable very easy readout under all sorts of conditions we were standing under bright sunshine right through the day and the screen didn't disappoint in terms of its visibility it also gets a multi-point bluetooth connectivity enabling you to potentially connect the screen to your smartphone and a headset and also it is uh, constantly monitoring tire pressure so that again is also connected via bluetooth the switch gear is all new it is feels very sturdy and very usable there is no complaints there it is also um, got onboard navigation 4g gps uh, connectivity and uh, internet Aether with the 450S wants to target new segment of scooter user. Aether feels that the electric scooter segment is going to grow rapidly. It already has been growing at 30% absolute over the last two years. It does expect a 70% penetration for the top five scooter manufacturers in India. I mean electric scooter manufacturers and continued replacement of electric scooters is what Aether expects to be happening and unlike one of its other competitors, Aether is not attempting to violently target, if I can use that term, ICE scooters. Instead, it is quietly expecting a replacement of ICE scooters with electric and that said, the 450S is Aether's response to buyers moving from the 125cc and the 150cc ICE scooter segment. So Aether believes that with these new offerings, it will be offering range of scooters with varied performance battery range and uh, on-road performance characteristics that will then attract buyers from these two, three segments, the 150 and the 125 scooter segment. Lifestyle characteristic of the Aether 450S and the 450X continues its uh, sturdy build, its lightweight aluminum construction, its uh, dual disc brakes, all of these continue and will enable Aether to deliver that differentiation to the more frugal ice scooter segment. That's what Aether believes and that's what the 125cc segment scooter buyer will expect is what Aether thinks. The new 450S's performance uh, characteristics, let's talk a little bit about that. It uh, is peak power of 5.4 kilowatt that the motor delivers and a max torque of about 22 newton meters. This scooter is going to be packaged with a 2.9 kilowatt hour battery and its certified range is about 115 kilometers, whereas a real world range is more likely to be 90 kilometers and it is restricted at a top speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The 450X with the 2.9 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is the other middle variant option, will deliver about 6.4 kilowatt of peak power through the same motor. And it's uh, tuned to deliver a peak torque of 26 Newton meters, while the 450S can do the zero to 40 kilometer run in about 3.9 seconds. The 450X 2.9 kilowatt hour battery pack which is the middle variant of the 450X will do the same 0 to 40 in 3.3 seconds. All of these uh, scooters including the 450X 3.7 kilowatt hour battery pack which is due out only in October with the fully loaded Pro Pack features that's going to be out in October and that will also feature the motor delivering 6.4 kilowatt of peak power and 26 newton meters of torque same as the middle 450X variant. This is the set of three variants that you get. So you will have the 450S, 
and the 450S with the Pro Pack and the, you'll have the 450X 2.9 kilowatt hour battery pack version and its Pro Pack variant and you'll have the fully loaded 450X with the 3.7 kilowatt hour battery pack. Effectively then Aether is going to be positioning five uh, scooters with basically the same design and the electric system with differential battery pack capacities. So that's been the Aether 450S that we've been test riding today. And this is a new scooter in the lineup for Aether, a scooter that's going to give them the power to reach lower into the price segment and offer buyers uh, who are a little more value conscious an option that can then deliver all of their expectations from an electric scooter. Now, this is also going to be offered in two sort of variants. There's going to be a 450S and there's going to be a 450S Pro Pack. The Pro Pack is going to be the one that gets a lot of these software enhancements. The features that we spoke about a little earlier, the base variant is being priced at about 1.3 lakhs. The prices I'm talking about even further from here will all be prices that includes the central subsidy but doesn't include state subsidies. The ex showroom price already factors in the central subsidy and the Pro Pack 450S will be about 1.43 lakhs. This is a scooter that then, then give you decent driving range and a lot of the software enhanced features that the top end variant will also get. Before I talk about the middle variants, let me tell you that the top end variant, the 450X that's currently available in the market in Aether showrooms is going to get a complete overhaul and it's going to get a lot of these software enhancements. That's the 3.7 kilowatt hour battery pack and that battery pack and that trim variant will also be repositioned. The prices haven't been announced yet. The prices are due to be announced sometime in October. What you get in the middle, of course, is the 450X with the smaller battery pack, which is the 2.9 kilowatt. That also has a base variant and a Pro Pack version, both of which will be priced slightly differently. The base 450X uh, 2.9 kilowatt hour uh, will be priced at about 1.38 lakh rupees. And then the Pro Pack is going to be priced at about 1.53. These are variants that will get the touchscreen instrument cluster and the top end 450X will of course will be fully loaded and available sometime October. If you're in the market for an electric scooter, the Aether has been a standout choice. I'd urge you to go and test ride this new 450S and put up your comments on our website.